What's up YouTube? It's gonna be another Mega Meyer video and this is gonna be another one for it. For it is Megan's birthday today. Happy birthday, Megan. Megan Meyer commits suicide after internet after internet bullied. New law for internet fraud. New laws for internet fraud. Hello YouTube, today I'm going to talk about something that I recently heard on MSNBC. I think it happened about the beginning of the month um, of a very sad case of a girl that committed suicide because of an online... Technically, Megan wasn't 14. She was about to be 14, but she was actually 13. She was three weeks shy of her 14th birthday. Um, not necessarily predator, but um, a false identity. And um, this is the first case to be recorded in the United States of someone killing themselves over a um, over internet fraud. It happens much more now and it happened on MySpace. And I think this is extremely sad and I think there needs to be a law put down about people that make a fake identity for themselves and cause pain to other people. Um, what happened was, this girl, her name is, um, Megan Meyer killed herself after being cyberbullied by this guy Josh, and at first, apparently they were talking for about six weeks, and a- And she's talking into a microphone. Abruptly, he had stopped talking to her and saying that, um, he didn't want to talk to her because she was mean to her friends. And, you know, she cried about that. And all of a sudden, there's all these tons of messages getting funneled into our MySpace. And this is not MySpace, by the way. That's Megan's MySpace. It said Megan B-A-B-I. And her MySpace is still up over here. And that was when Megan would have been 16. So that was like... And it says, wait for... The one who turns his friends and says that's her female, 16 years old, St. Louis, Missouri, United States. <clears throat> Last login, 11-17-2007. And her MySpace is still up here, actually. Um, I just looked. It's still up, but um, it says this pro profile is restricted. And it says, only confirmed connections can access this profile. Click the content to request a connection and um, that was back when she would have been 16 she was made in 2008 I think I think this girl um, must have uploaded the video a year after she filmed it maybe Saying that and I think Emily Wilson, the maker of this video, lives in my home state of Washington because I've looked her up on Facebook, actually. Because I wanted to see if she had a Facebook. You know, the world would be a happier place without her. And um, that's just vile as hell. Um, and the culprit in this is what's crazy. The culprit is apparently one of their neighbors. Yeah. And is the mother of one of her friends. And um, I'm going to post pictures of her. Uh, and according to her parents, prior to her suicide, she was a very happy go lucky girl. And, um, you know, it's like I can relate to this because I dealt with a fake identity person too. And he just seemed like this, like, dream guy. And I think that's what this person was like this Josh person because you know they had, she, he had like this fake identity of being this really cute guy and um, I just think it's horrible that an adult would do this to a 13 year old child and the <coughs> mother of the <coughs> um, I used a mother in a um, I used the mother's picture and along with her daughter that I have in his gonna be in my Megan Meyer happy birthday video that I'm gonna post after the after the other video I just post after the other video I just posted and this in this one I think I'm gonna need to get a new webcam soon
because this one's kind of foggy over here, I guess. The friend. Maybe. Um, excuse, uh, excuse is that she wanted to have comfort in being to able being able to investigate um, this MySpace just in case uh, the the girl Megan was harassing or posting bad things about her own daughter. Apparent, you know, the mother also posted onto this Josh account that um, Megan is fat and she's a slut. Uh, I wonder if that was her or if it was Lori. I wonder if that was Lori, Sarah, or Ashley out of those three. Um, I honestly think this a lot of this crime had to do with jealousy because if you look at the um, Megan, she's obviously a very pretty girl. Um, Though, I read that she had been suffering from obesity, um, well not obesity, but weight problems, you know what I mean? I didn't mean obesity, but, um, she'd been suffering from weight problems that, you know, she had just turned, you know, um, I think she was, she was 14. More or less 13, three weeks she would have been 14. <laughs> So, you know, she's just going into puberty and stuff like that. And she was going to get her braces off. That, so, you know, just, you know, she's starting to get, you know, taller and lost some weight. And um, she was also getting her braces off. So it's like, you know, she was just coming out of an awkward stage. Um, but then you look at the, the daughter of this um, woman, Lori Drew, who invented this Josh character. Um... Her daughter is not, you know, attractive at all, and she's a little bit chunky, and the mother is obviously not attractive. <laughs> that was funny. Her daughter is not, you know, attractive at all, and she's a little bit chunky. Yeah. And the mother is obviously not attractive. <laughs> Here we go. I mean, from what I think. And, well, you know, just knowing that she did this makes her more unattractive. <laughs> you can laugh at that because she's making fun of Lori Drew and Sarah um I just feel like it's just horrible it's horrible that this woman would do this and um I think that prosecutors should definitely charge her I don't know necessarily for murder but just for this fraudulent scheme but you know it's so hard for I heard that she would face three years in prison I think it should be more or less 10 to 20 at least 20 for them because you know there's no law on this there's no law saying that you can't make up a fake identity and um, start messaging teenagers and I don't know it's just hard to say. I think the internet needs to be a lot safer, though. Um, I mean, the thing is, though, is you can say that you can't make up fake people on um, a social networking site, but it's like me and my friend Catherine once did that, and we um, made up, like, this um, kid named Humphrey Pants, and it was just hilarious, and we, like... Um, write the craziest stuff and we just joke around with it, but we weren't, you know, trying to harm anyone and we weren't taking it seriously. You know, it's like, I think it depends, like, I mean, people are always going to make up fake identities for themselves. There's people on social networking sites like Guy Online that make up fake accounts and add their, add personalities, you know. It's just because I think <coughs> kids, teenagers look to the internet as a um, outlet for creativity and also like getting away from their real life so I think people are always going to make up fake identities for themselves 
It's just when people pose as someone that wants to be your boyfriend or something, especially to a 13-year-old, 14-year-old girl, there's going to be huge problems. So, um, yeah, this woman should definitely, I think, have to up, you know, 20 years in prison. Um, because, I mean, I can just imagine what this has done to Megan Meyer's family, her parents. I guess her parents are going to file for divorce. It's like, all of this... They did get a divorce. They separated because of the stress, and then they got a divorce, and usually parents... Um, Tina said when I was watching a recording a long time ago, like a, like something that she was saying is when you're... When you're... When your I forgot what it was said. It said, when you have a parent who goes through m losing a child, most of them end up getting a divorce. Could have been completely avoidable if this bitch wouldn't have done this, you know? Yeah, well, I, I agree with this comment right here. You know? And it's like, the little town that they live in, uh, all of this could have been completely avoidable if this bitch wouldn't have done this. Yeah, she shouldn't have done that in the first place. Think twice from now on. You know? And it's like, the little town that they live in, um, Darlene Prairie is putting down some laws. They're putting down laws in their county. They lived in O'Fallon, Missouri, is where Megan and her mom, dad, and all the other family, her sister. You know what makes this story even sadder is that Megan had a little sister. And then there was, then there's her then there's Sarah, Lori, and what's that girl's name? Sarah, Lori, and Ashley. And stuff like that. But Ashley Grills actually feels bad. She actually cried about what she said, and she said that she does know what she did, and she regrets it. But you shouldn't have thought of that in one of the... You shouldn't have done that even... What Ashley Grills said is that she said the world would be a better place without you because she said that so Megan would get angry and she would delete Josh's account and stop hoaxing Megan. Yeah. But, you know, it's not enough. And I just wanted to get the word out. I know I probably won't get very many views for this, but um, I'm just saying that... You got over... You got 100... You got 115,291 views. That's cool. That's not a little bit. Most of my videos get get one get barely any views. One of my videos got over over one thousand views. Um, that's at least a little bit. That's um better than nothing. I think people should be careful about um, making up fake identities and you know because stuff like this can happen. I, you know if I would have dealt with something like this, you know, when I was 13, 14, who knows what I would have done, you know, it's like this poor girl had her whole life ahead of her, and it was cut short because, you know, of her, I hate to say it, but it's like, her choice in this was, you know, matter of maturity, you know, I mean, she was just at her, you know, she was just a kid, and, you know, kids tend to make decisions like, don't really think about what they're going to do, and she just kills herself, and, um, I don't know, I think it's just horrible, it's horrible what happened, it's like, when I told my mom about this case, she's like, shoot, that woman should be burned, that woman should have, get something permanently burned into her face that says, I caused, a it's like, when I told my mom about this case, she's like, shoot, that woman should be burned, that woman should have get something permanently burned into her face that says I caused a fourteen year old girl to commit suicide. Cause wouldn't that be a I think that would be a good punishment <coughs> in cases like this. I mean, Cause just look at her and just imagine that carved into her forehead. Cause that's what she deserves. I don't know. I I just hope that um, I don't I don't know what to say. I just think it's horrible that I feel you know for the family, and I feel for, you know, people that have had to deal with, um, 
predators on the internet, you know, I had to deal with one, and it was horrible. So, yeah, um, go over to my channel, BaseJ509, check out my, um, video about Nico Lai, the fake person, and, um, yeah, okay, well, um, I will talk to you later, please add me, subscribe, I'll sub back, um, yep. Alright, thank you all for watching. Stay up to date and subscribe. Definitely stay tuned for this next video that I'm going to post about Megan for her birthday. Bye bye. Peace out. Oh, wait. There was one more thing I wanted to add. Here it is. <clears throat> this might be hard to hear because this video from Megan, um, some people. It's the beginning of a. Change the audience. But they're about to meet the dark truth. Very Drew is Josh Evans. I have something to tell you. Ron and I are on our way. I have no since Megan had passed. The grieving my Liam and just as if it or who caused it had a slight pulse, but she wasn't breathing on her. I'm trying to crashing down on her and find a note. Here's it is. When he told me about why did you all of a sudden turn? What what was the whole thing about? And find a note. Here it is. But he looked on the computer. He sees that Megan was still logged on to MySpace. They changed the audio to make it much slower, I think. I don't know. And the last message is on the screen. Here it is. He called her on the phone. This is what he writes. Everybody in O'Fallon knows who you are. You're a bad person and everyone hates you. Have a rest of your life. The world would be a better place without you. What he said was, <clears throat> so you hear from mine, it was like, everybody in O'Fallon knows who you are. You're a bad person and everyone hates you. Have a shitty rest of your life. The world would be a better place without you. That's that's horrible. I mean, have you ever heard that? Like, someone says, everybody in this town knows who you are. You're a bad person. Everyone hates you. Have a shitty rest of your life. The world would be a better place without you. Who the fuck says shit like that? When he told me about that, I just thought... I can't believe someone would say that to somebody else. I mean... She was this kid that then left this world thinking that no one cares, no one likes her. Then, no sooner does he read it, the message disappears. This is account deleted. No, it's, no, it's just gone. The message, the message disappeared and he was trying to hit the enter key to find it again. Because the account was deleted. I just didn't understand who was this person because and then they found it that's all i have to say for this video stay tuned for the Meyer video i'm about to post after this peace out